after, after Deepa ji, it is Lagima ji and Deepesh ji. <laughs> Namaste everyone. Myself, Deepa ji Nair, uh, professor from Civil Engineering Department, Cochin University of Science and Technology. I'm also the university coordinator there, staying in Cochin with my husband, Rajendran. We have two children, both of them are in US. One is uh, stud uh, studying, younger one, and elder one, after his studies, he's working there. And I think I'll be only reading this because otherwise I won't be able to complete the points. I'll just share the things what I learned from UHV3 workshop. I was able to get the clarity on the human contact because every time I was having a feeling how I'll be able to ensure this continuity of happiness. Whenever I was also taking this content to students also, whenever I discussed this uh, happiness, uh, we need to be happy all the time. But that was a question for me also. When I attended this workshop, I was able to get clarity more on uh, exist coexistence, harmony and relationship. When I am able to see the coexistence of every unit with other unit in space, I can reach the state of realization. That was a confidence I got from this workshop. However, what is possible in the present state is the clarity on the existence of every unit in space and they're getting energized in the space. That's the only clarity, but I'm having the confidence. I'll be able to reach that state. I can work for that state. That's the confidence. Uh, this was possible through the knowledge of the innateness of every unit in nature and clarity of harmony in nature. Ensuring right feelings and thoughts can help me in ensuring my participation in larger order at every moment. I can see this through the clarity of the natural characteristic of the unit. However, I am lacking the competence to ensure it all the time. UHV3 has given me the confidence. Every time I will try to help others, but sometimes I feel some kind of resistance. Uh, I feel like helping others, but every time it's not possible for me. So UHV3 has given me the confidence. Whatever situation is there, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to show my participation. Now, uh, on the shift on the basis of comparison and tasting, Desire for ensuring the health of my body with the feeling of self-regulation, I was able to overcome the sensation towards my food choices. For example, I was advised to avoid direct sugar uh, from the in, during the initial days of my treatment. It was very difficult for me. My husband and my children, they were saying that oh, when your treatment is over, you can go back and you can take the food, whatever uh, you need. But uh, now I'm not doing that. So I'll be able to continue with that state. And my future plans regarding the self-development, uh, like uh, attending the morning session, sharing the contents, listening to the videos of Ganesh Ji, Kumar Bhaiya. This I am doing nowadays. But uh, al along with this, one more commitment, uh, observation time. Every time whenever discussing with Shamla Didi, she is asking uh, how long you are observing every day. But uh, I was not able to give that commitment. But now I have taken uh, this as a new commitment to increase that observation time to improve my awareness. And in education, we are conducting SIP from 2019 onwards. This three-week SIP program and sharing the UHV1 content to the student along with Sunil Bhaiya, Leda Didi, both Leda Didis, we are doing it in our university. And UHV2 content is also a three-credit course in our university. Uh, and uh, uh, sharing in FDPs and ESIP program on Wednesdays that I am able to participate and uh, other commitments. Actually, after coming here in uh, SRM, I am able to see this as a living example. I need to thank uh, Supraja Didi and team for this. Because uh, as Deepesh uh, Bhaiya was mentioning, we met first time there in 
uh, Sri Sai Ram College, their uh, Supraja was attending as a uh, participant. Then she was discussing with all of us how to, because I was a uni university coordinator that time, she was only a participant. She was discussing me uh, how the, the how I'll be able to take, uh, they had appointed me as the university coordinator. Then initially I was saying something, but now I can see that I have to learn many things from her. In our university, we are still in that baby stage only. I can see how good they are able to do everything here. So we also need to show that commitment. So in going back to the university, till now we were focusing only on faculty development programs. So now we understood that there is a need for all the sectors, all the stakeholders in the university, starting from students, conducting follow-up sessions, uh, for SIP and also UHV2 content we are delivering for the second year students but, but we are not conducting any follow-up sessions and also the technical staff and uh, all the people associated with the UHV we have that commitment we have to proceed in that okay thank you everyone